Namaste. Dhanavad Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 4, The Creation of the Fourth Order, Chapter 13, Text 11. Madhvatam jadam unmatam kulavradhasa mantrina vatsaram bhupatim chakrur yaviyam sam brahmesutam For this reason, the ministers and all the elderly members of the family thought Utkala to be without intelligence and in fact mad. Thus his younger brother named Vatsara, the son of Brahmi, was elevated to the royal throne and he became king of the world. Purport. It appears that although there was monarchy, it was not at all an autocracy. There were senior family members and ministers who could make changes and elect the proper person to the throne. Although the throne could be occupied only by the royal family, in modern days also, wherever there is monarchy, sometimes the ministers and elderly members of the family select one member from the royal family to occupy the throne in preference to another. Text 12. Svarvitir vatsaras yesta Varyasuta sad atmajan Pushparnam tigma ketum cha Isham or jam Itam or jam Vasum jayam King Vatsar, uh, King Vatsara, had a very dear wife whose name was Svarviti, and she gave birth to six sons named Pushparna, Tigmaketu, Ishu, uh, Isha. Orja, Vasu, and Jaya. Purport. Vatsara's wife is mentioned here as Ishta, which means worshipable. In other words, it appears that Vatsara's wife had all good qualities. For example, she was always very faithful and obedient and affectionate to her husband. She had all good qualities for managing household affairs. If both the husband and wife are endowed with good qualities and live peacefully, then nice children take birth, and thus the whole family is happy and prosperous. Text 13. Pushparnasya prabhabarya dosa chadve baduvatu pratoramadhyan dinam sayam itihyasan prabhasuta. Pushparna had two wives named Prabha and Dosha. Prabha had three sons named Pratar, Madhyandinam, and Sayam. Text 14. Pradosho nishto vyustaha iti dosa sutastraya vyusta sutam pushkarinyam sarvate jasam adhad adhadhe Sarvate jasam adhadhe. Dosa had three sons, Pradosa, Nishta, and Vyusta. Vyusta's wife was named Pushkarini, and she gave birth to a very powerful son named Sarvat, Sarvateja. Texts 15 through 16. Satchakshu shutam akutyam papyam manum avapaha manor asutam ahisi virajan nadvala sutan purum kutsam tritam dunam satyavantam ratam vratam agnistomam atiratram Pradyumanam shibim ulmukam. Sarvateja's wife, Akuti, gave birth to a son named Chakshusu, Kakshusa, who became the sixth Manu. And at the end of the Manu millennium, 
Nadvala, the wife of Chakshushamanu, gave birth to the following faultless sons, Puru, Kutusa, Trita, Dyumna, Satyavan, Rita, Vrata, Agnistoma, Atiratra, Pradyumna, Sibi, and Wulmuka. Text 17. Wulmuko Janna Yat Putran, Pushkarin Yam Sad Utaman, Angam Sumana Samkyatim, Kratum Angira Samgayam. Of the twelve sons, Umoka begot six sons with his wife Pushkarini. They were all very good sons, and their names were Anga, Sumana, Kyati, Kratu, Angira, and Gaya. Text 18. Sunityangasya yapatni, Sushuve venam ulbanam, Yadasil yatsarad, Yadhausil yatsarajarshir, Nirvino niragat purat. The wife of Anga, Sunita, gave birth to a son named Vina, who was very crooked. The saintly king Anga was very disappointed with Vina's bad character, and he left home and the kingdom and went out to the forest. Text 19 through 20. Yam Anga Sepu Kupita Vagvajra Munayakila Katashos Tasya Buyaste Mamantor Dakshinam Karam Araja Keta Daloke Dasubi Pidita Praja Jato Narayanam Sena Pritor Adhya Chitishvara My dear Vidura, when great sages curse, their words are as invincible as a thunderbolt. Thus, when they cursed King Vina out of anger, he died. After his death, since there was no king, all the rogues and thieves flourished. The kingdom became unregulated, and all the citizens suffered greatly. On seeing this, the great sages took the right hand of Vina as a churning rod, and as a result of their churning, Lord Vishnu and his partial representation made his advent as King Prithu, the original emperor of the world. Purport Monarchy is better than democracy because if the monarchy is very strong, the regulative principles within the kingdom are upheld very nicely. Even 100 years ago in the state of Kashmini, uh, in the state of Kashmir in India, the king was so strong that if a thief were arrested in his kingdom and brought before him, the king would immediately chop off the hands of the thief. As a result of this severe punishment, there were practically no theft cases within the kingdom. Even if someone left something on the street, no one would touch it. The rule was that the things could be taken away only by a proprietor and that no one else would touch them. In the so-called democracy, Wherever there is a theft case, the police come and take note of the case, but generally the thief is never caught, nor is any punishment offered to him. As a result of the incapable government at the present moment, thieves, rogues, and cheaters are very prominent all over the world. Text 21. Vedora Uvacha Tasyashila Nidhe Sador Brahmanyasya Mahatmana Rajna Katam Abudushta Prajayad Vimanayayo. Vidura inquired from the great sage Maitreya, My dear Brahmana, King Anga was very gentle. He had high character and was a saintly personality and lover of Brahminical culture. How is it that such a great soul got a bad son like Vina, because of whom he became indifferent to his kingdom and left it? Purport. In family life, a man is supposed to live happily with father, mother, wife, children. But sometimes under certain conditions, a father, mother, child, or wife becomes an enemy. 
It is said by Chanakya Pandit that a father is an enemy when he is too much in debt. A mother is an enemy if she marries for a second time. A wife is an enemy when she is very beautiful. And a son is an enemy when he is a foolish rascal. In this way, when a family member becomes an enemy, it is very difficult to live in family life or to remain a householder. Generally, such situations occur in the material world. Therefore, according to Vedic culture, one has to take leave of his family members just after his 50th year, so that the balance of his life may be completely devoted in search of Krishna consciousness. Text 22. Kimbamo bhinna udisya Brahma dandam ayu yujan Dandavrata dare rajnai Munhaya dharma kovida Vidura, Vidura also inquired How is it that the great sages who were completely conversant with religious principles desired to curse King Vina, who himself carried the rod of punishment, and thus awarded him the greatest punishment, Brahmasapa. Purport. It is understood that the king is able to give punishment to everyone, but in this case it appears that the great sages punished him. The king must have done something very serious, otherwise how could the great sages, who were supposed to be the greatest and most tolerant, still punish him in spite of their elevated religious consciousness? It appears also that the king was not independent of the Brahminical culture. Above the king was the control of the Brahmanas, and if needed, the Brahmanas would dethrone the king or kill him, not with any weapon, but with the mantra of a Brahma Shapa. The Brahmanas were so powerful that simply by their cursing, one would immediately die. Text 23. Navadhye ya prajapala, prajabir agavanapi, yad aso loka palanam, vibhakyo josva tejasa. It is the duty of all citizens in a state never to insult the king, even though he sometimes appears to have done something very sinful. Because of his prowess, the king is always more influential than all other. <laughs> ruling chiefs purport according to vedic civilization the king is supposed to be the representative of the supreme personality of godhead he is called nara narayana indicating that narayan the supreme personality of godhead appears in human society as the king it is etiquette that neither a brahmana nor a chatriya king is ever insulted by the citizens even though a king appears to be sinful the citizens should not insult him. But in the case of Vina, it appears that he was cursed by the Nara Devatas. Therefore, it was concluded that his sinful activities were very grievous. Text 24. Etad akyahi me brahman sunithat maja chastitam shradhad hanaya bhaktaya from Paravhara Vittama. Vidura requested Maitreya, My dear Brahmana, you are very well conversant with all subjects, both past and future. Therefore, I wish to hear from you all the activities of King Vina. I am your faithful devotee, so please explain this. Purport. Vidura accepted Maitreya as his spiritual master. A disciple always inquires from a spiritual master, and the spiritual master answers the question, provided the disciple is very gentle and devoted. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur said that by the mercy of the spiritual master, one is blessed with the mercy of the Supreme Lord. The spiritual master is not inclined to disclose all the secrets of transcendental science unless the disciple is very submissive and devoted. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, the process of receiving knowledge from the spiritual master entails submission, inquiry, and service. Text 25.
Chaitanya about Pranamananda Krishna Prabhu. Dandavat Krishna Keshava Prabhu. Ma, uh, text 25. Maitreya Uvacha Angosva Medham Rajarshir Ajahara Mahakratum Najagmor Devatas Tasmin Ahuta Brahma Vadibi Sri Maitreya replied, My dear Vidura, once the great King Anga arranged to perform the great sacrifice known as Asvamedha, all the expert Brahmanas present knew how to invite the demigods, but in spite of their efforts, no demigods participated or appeared in that sacrifice. Purport. A Vedic sacrifice is not an ordinary performance. The Vedic demigods, uh, the demigods used to participate in such sacrifices, and the animals sacrificed in such performances were reincarnated with new life. In this age of Kali, there are no powerful Brahmanas who can invite the demigods or give renewed life to animals. Formerly, the Brahmanas well conversant in Vedic mantras could show the potency of the mantras, but in this age, because there are no such Brahmanas, all such sacrifices are forbidden. The sacrifice in which horses were offered was called Asvamedha. Sometimes cows were sacrificed in the Gavalamba, not for eating purposes, but to give them new life in order to show the potency of the mantra. In this age, therefore, the only practical yajna is Sankirtana yajna, or chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra 24 hours a day. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 26 on uh, Wednesday. Yes. And Wednesday is Sri Krishna John. Um, I'm sorry, Tuesday. Tomorrow is Sri Krishna John Mastami. And Wednesday is Nandotsav, the celebration um, of Krishna's birth by his father, Nanda Maharaj. So we will be having a prashad distribution in Princeton on Wednesday. Ananda Krishna Prabhu, do you have any special plans for John Mastami tomorrow? Hare Krishna Prabhu, Jam uh, in my home, my house. You make some, any special kind of preparation? Some preparation, uh, prasada, in no, no temple, no visitor temple. Are you making any special prashad? Samosa. Samosas. Jai. <laughs> Very nice. Jai Sri Krishna. Jai Adivas. Sri Krishna Janmastami ki jai. Jai Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Pori Maharaj ki jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada Srila Guru Maharaj Srila Guru Dev Srila Acharya Dev Srila Shanta Maharaj ki jai. Jai. Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. All glories to the yeah. assembled devotees. All glories to the worldwide devotees. Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Navadvip Dham Ki Jai. Nishangapali Dham Ki Jai. Mayapur Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Ju Ki Jai. Ganga Mai Yamuna Mai Ki Jai. Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Giri Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dham Ki Jai. Sham Kun Radhakun Ki Jai. Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Ki Jai. Jai Harinam Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai. Scientific Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai. Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Princeton yeah. Bhakti Vedanta Institute Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mutt Ki Jai. Nitai yeah. Gaura Premanandi Hari 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 Bo. Jai Shri Padananda Krishna Prabhu Ki Jai. Jai. Jai Krishna. Jai Sri Padananda Krishna Keshava Prabhu Ki Jai. Dandavat pronounce Prabhu. Sri Jamas Makijai. Jai. Jai.